JBI summary is also built to facilitate qualitative synthesis. Now, in this example, I have opened a new project that has been specifically designed for qualitative data. The results and the data that we've been using up to this point has been around randomized controlled trials and answering the question of effectiveness. That is why this may look different to previous videos you may have watched in this series. To undertake qualitative synthesis, we click on the synthesis down arrow here and select qualitative. JBI summary currently facilitates synthesis known as the meta-aggregative approach. Now, this approach is unique to methods that use JBI summaries approach for qualitative data. If you are not familiar with JBI's methods for qualitative systematic reviews, I will not be explaining these methods, and I strongly suggest that you read the chapter on qualitative systematic reviews in the JBI Manual for Evidence Synthesis. For those of you that are familiar with this method, I am going to walk through how to conduct the meta-aggregative approach within JBI Summary. The first thing that you will need to do is to click on the Create Study button. As you can see, I already have two examples done that I will work through. For the purposes of demonstration, I will show you how we can create the study. I'll click on Create Study. I will just enter the title, example, in the year 2000 and click on this blue button to save. Now, if I have done that for the Bewley paper, again, this is a paper that I would have already screened, appraised and extracted, I can click open. Now, what you'll see is a list of findings. These are findings from the qualitative piece of work itself and the illustration that accompanies that finding. We then also have a drop-down arrow to determine whether the illustration is credible, not supported, or unequivocal of the finding itself. For every finding for one particular study, remembering this is the Bewley paper, I have got my finding, which is the verbatim words from the paper itself, and I have assigned it a level of either unequivocal, credible, or not supported. I would do this for every study that I've included. So I've also done this for the hunt study. Once I've created my findings under this studies tab in the synthesis pane, I can go to the categories. To create a category, I can click on this green create category button. I can enter the category title. For example, I'll just write title here and a short description as to what this category is going to be. I then need to assign my findings that I created under the studies tab to a particular category. I can do this by selecting the finding and clicking the assign selection. So for example, the finding of increased cognitive and emotional impacts, I can assign this selection to emotional impact for caregivers. I'm gonna do this for the finding of personal impact to emotional impact for caregivers and the finding of uncertainty. Now, these findings came from the uh, creation under the studies tab. Now that I've assigned all my findings to categories, I can then create synthesized findings. Now I do this by selecting the synthesized finding tab up the top. To create a synthesized finding, I again would select this green create button enter the title of the synthesized finding and a description for that particular synthesized finding. I then need to assign each category that I created in the previous tab to the synthesized finding that I just created. I do this by selecting the category and then clicking the assign selection and assigning it to the synthesized finding I created earlier. After I have assigned all my categories to my synthesized finding, I can then proceed to generate what we call the meta-aggregative flowchart. This is the meta-aggregative flowchart and details how all of our findings align to our categories and how all of our categories align to our synthesized finding. As you can see, as I'm hovering my mouse over the flowchart, I can export the synthesized finding as either a JPEG, a PNG, or an SVG file. I can also change the color in which this meta-aggregative 
flowchart appears, which may be useful if you have multiple different synthesized findings that are going to be present in your systematic review.